Download all the Sly Show podcasts at theslyshow.com. What's going on? It's your boy Blaze. And of course, you know, you're here rocking with the best. It's the No Invite Podcast, prequel, sequel, episode, season, the season before the season, if that makes sense. And we're here. This episode was filmed in Black Diamond Studios, and it was originally intended for the main No Invite Podcast season. But you know, players fuck up. Shit happens, be high, we all know we've got our shit together over here, I admit it. And we weren't able to give you the visual, so we're going to drop it for you on the prequel, sequel, episode, season. And we're going to rock like that, you know what I mean? So kick back, get you something to drink, smoke something good, and you know, enjoy the episode, you know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that has something to do with it, shout out to uh, Half... You know, the whole Fan First family, Rebirth Entertainment, Black Diamond Studios. Enjoy. 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 No. Invite. Podcast. It's a very memorable event. You know, they say when players meet, it's always a treat. So, you know, we got to go here and get off into this podcast. We got Be Easy That Dude. That dude in the building, fucking around. Jizzle the mayor. Face shot, you already know what's happening. Brr. We got Brr. half back there. What's happening, man? What's, what's going y'all? on, y'all, man? No invite podcast. We here to entertain. We, we here entertain. to talk and bring y'all the real. Be easy. What's up, man? What's, what's the latest? happening, man? I don't know, man. You... I mean, that's a broad question. What's the latest on now, what? On everything, man. What's the latest with you? Okay, with me, uh, the latest, you know, I'm still in the lab cooking up as yeah. usual. You got a lot you of know, 925 um, shit, huh? Exactly, live from the 925, you know, keeping it, you know. It was, uh, you know, we lit in the 925 too, you feel me? So that compilation going to be coming out soon, you know. Hopefully all of these gentlemen that's in this building is a part of the... Uh, you know, part of the production on there. Y'all sure heard it. Y'all be. heard it here. Sure will no, be. Yeah. podcast. Yes, Y'all heard sir. That. Yeah, mandatory. but you know, that, that's work. just a tip of the iceberg. Me and my bro, the boy Spit, we got a, a, a jacking for beats, a little mixtape coming out. You know, I got some shit with the bro Sinatra coming out. That's what's up. And uh, yeah, Shout we're just going to keep shit uh, rocking, bro. Shout out Spit, shout out Sinatra. What's up with you, Jizzle, man? Oh, uh, you know, you looking, man. You looking like medicated over there, man. Is it, uh, is man, it really heavily real? medicated? Heavily man. medicated. Is it, is it really <laughs> well, what kind of meds, though? These are the good meds, right? These not them. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is that the Molly or the Percocet? Nah, wait, 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 nah, wait. It's okay. It's the good. Mask it's the good, off. good. It's the good. Keeping it natural. Hold on, Percocet. Where's the Molly at? You there know, might be a little something here and there. Where the Molly? <laughs> might dibble and dabble. Cross, you know a little, little cross paint. You know what I mean? Every now and then you where might have the Molly? to. You know what I'm saying? We just don't. I, I just don't. I would say just don't make it a habit. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Don't you know? make it habitual. Yeah. It's only it a habit habitual. when you can't afford the shit. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. If you can afford it, yeah, people be like, bro, why, why you keep buying all them J's, nigga? I grind and I, I yeah. work for them. So. Exactly. And then right as soon now. as they get an opportunity, what they go buy? Some jack- yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or some tree. Why you buying all that tree? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got it, man. I didn't buy it before because I ain't have it. You know what I mean? What's up, though? What's up, man? Though? Time, man you know, working on this Cartel L, man, the mixtape in the EP. <laughs> man, we keeping it going, man. Yeah. Half, what's going on, man? Oh, you know. fantastic back there. I'm flyer than ever right now. I see that. I see your wingspan <laughs> right now, player. For He's scared real. to show his eyes. You think Jizzle hot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, but real shit. I got two black guys. I've been funking with this nigga tough for the last like three weeks, bro. I swear to God, if y'all know him, y'all he funking with y'all too. Probably. That bitch ass nigga allergies, bro. He yeah. out there. Got you lumped up right now, huh? Bro, he got me Willy Lump Lump right now. Two piece in the Willie. biscuit. Willy Lump Lump? Willy yeah. Lump Lump. Bad. I've, been bad, rub- I've been rubbing my eyes like, hey, man, boy, like I've been Willie tearing Lump skin Lump. tissue and eye retina and fucking all this shit, man. It's I'm definitely blind. that season, y'all. <laughs> I'm blind. It's definitely yeah. that season. Make sure all your pollen comes from, uh, I'm blind. from weed. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? It comes it's from weird. the most natural, you know what I'm saying, botanicals and shit like that. I don't nah. even know what the fuck I'm saying right now, you know he what I mean? Don't, it, it sound good, though, you know what I mean? Besides that, man, it's all good, <laughs> man. We still working, we, we still, still cooking rocking. like always. Bla- you know Blaze right? watched too much Bill Nye, uh, the science. Nah, man, movie. you know what? <laughs> I don't fuck with that shit, bro. I'm called bullshit on that. You know, I seen, you know, the new episode came out right They got on a new Netflix. Episode? They got it's a thing called Bill Bill Nye Saves the World. Oh, bro, no, I ain't fucking with that. When they like that Fuller House and shit like that. They might as well bring back Mr. Rogers. Nah, but see, you know what it is, though. 
It's it's a new show, but it's like more science-based. Tell me that wasn't the creepiest nigga ever who had a... Who, what type of old-ass man? <laughs> bro, come on. Tell me that Mr. Rogers wasn't the creepiest show ever, Hey, bro. well, you know... Tell you, me how to make a show of a pedophile. Is, come on, bro. <laughs> that hey, tell man. me that nigga Mr. But, Rogers wasn't... Bro, come on. The creepiest nigga ever, bro. They did a show, bro, and the, and the intro was him putting his shoes... His shoes, like, together like a fucking OCD fucking head. You know what I mean? Yeah. Having his shoes fucking meticulously A nigga planted. hard because he's organized? And then, and no, hey. not only that, though. Hey. Not only that. Hey. But when you walk in his you house, the nigga got right Thomas now. the Train floating through his shit. Okay, okay. Bro, bro, like, come I'll, on, bro. I'll, he ain't got I'll, no like, kids. Get, he ain't got get, no get family. Nothing, it. nigga. Basically, if he pulls up, you're going to want to see his paperwork. He's going to be like, yo, who? Bro. Where, let me, where you no, at? that what, What's that? Uh, uh, check him out on Megan's floor or something. He might be on there. I'm just saying, bro. Nobody ever pay attention to that shit. I think it's really pedophile. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in the day. Wasn't it really a pedophile or some nah, shit? Nah, man. Would you mind, don't bro. be slandering that <laughs> man like bro, that. Come on, bro. Don't, yeah. Don't, he don't say. He might have been a creepy motherfucker, but I, I, we can't say for sure. Come out like that. Nah, he was Remember, there was a rumor saying that he was a military sniper with uh, over 198. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't never smacked Google. That's one of the I funniest shit I've ever seen. I just came up with my own pieces that he was a fucking perv. But I say that show was something. They myth busted that, I think about it now, bro, and I'll be like, who would watch this shit, bro? You was watching that. Nigga, just imagine, I know, bro. I, I was. was. Like, what the that's fuck? why, cause that's why I'm like, hold on, cats. I was. I was this. too, bro. That's why I'm like, I think about the shit now. They're like, bro, who the fuck will watch that shit? Oh, but think shit. about it like this, bro. Oh, think about God. it like this. Why was I not surprised when they when I heard that rumor that he was a military sniper? I took one looking at him. I was like, yeah, that shit makes fucking sense. You know what I mean? Looking <laughs> at how he acts like, in the show, cool, I was like, like I could man. see that. I could see him. I mean, they myth busted it though. It was it was a myth. People put out like an internet rumor and shit about that. That though saying he was a sniper or whatever for the marines or whatever I some never crazy heard shit. that shit that's just hilarious if you google it shit, it's funny as fuck, I bro. never heard that one either hey but hey that's just it's old you know what I mean Mr. But, uh, fucking Rogers hilarious. shout like out Mr. Rogers show. nigga uh, shout out Mr. Sweaters. Rogers yeah. anyway I'm, <laughs> hey just cause you said though I'm gonna need to see his paperwork though for real for real I'm gonna look it up now you have to google him real quick otherwise we don't brought him back he don't go by that name no more though he go by a different name he changed his name and everything especially if he in the motherfucking army with a hundred bodies just be careful Cause what if the rumors are really true and he is a sniper and he get on some shit what and he's like he's like he want to see somebody butt, you know butt, he ain't gonna just come see you you know what I mean I don't know <laughs> he but, might be that but don't they, they, he still bro, might be if that's what I'm gonna say he still oh, might pop niggas your be ass. saying shit like that bro it do be gay niggas in the military but I'm just bro, saying I just wanna say nigga down oh, R.I.P. the black man if he really a military sniper black you feel me? Big Black, damn. R.I.P. Big, big, big Black, that's yeah, what was crazy. happening. R.I.P. You know the Bay yeah, Midge, man. man. Only 45, you know, that. that's too young. Way Charlie too Murphy. Young, Charlie, 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 Charlie Murphy, Murphy, Charlie Murphy. Murphy. That's 57, man, that, that, that's too young for us to be here. Yeah, that's done. crazy. No, hey, man. remember yeah, it used to be Henry's like, you'd be like, yo, my 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 friend's grandma had a stroke. How old was she? She was like 60-something. Now it's like they're 45. 45. You know, really? you're 50. You know, like, that's cancer crazy. at 25. Y'all better start watching what you now. eating out there, man. Start Why putting good shit gross. in your body. You want to smoke the best, but you don't always eat the best. You got to do both. Man, man. That's that's balance. Balance. You know what I'm saying? Balance. You got to balance your shit out, and you ain't got to be. That's, like, but, me, that's you know? like finding a vegan that's sip lean. Boy, if you don't get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all natural except for this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he smoked backwards. <laughs> and he smoked backwards. <laughs> and he smoked backwards. But he's vegan, though. But he's a vegan. All right, well, look, man, this is the intro, man, and on by podcast. We got some shit coming up right now. Excuse me, bro, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm like, like kicking damn, him, you know, I'm on his leg on accident. Well, I'm like, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, watch out. I was like, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. None of that. We was. That's why I was like, hold on a second, man. Let me, <laughs> let me, see let me address that and let you know right now. Like, damn, start start getting carried away over here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But now it's the on by podcast, man. We'll be right back in a minute, man. It's the intro. We, you know, we working. We trying to get things going. We got a lot of people right now coming in. We got Bully Wiz. We got Royal, we got T1, we Shout are Black in Diamond Black Diamond Studios. Studios. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. We in Black Diamond fish, Studios ho uh, graciously hosting us right now. We trying to get this shit lit. Uh, we got more for you, you know what I mean? It's No Invite Podcast. No Invite Podcast. Y'all know what it is, man. It's the No Invite Podcast. It's your boy Blaze, and you know who we got over here, man. In case y'all didn't know... Let him know. Holla, bully whiz. You already know what I'm saying. Then we got, you know, we are, you already know Jizzle right here. Jizzle ain't going you nowhere. Know. We still got Jizzle on the panel, but we also got T1 in the building. What's going on, player? What's happening? What's happening? I'm the Phantom of the Opera, the, though. The don't Phantom even. of the Opera, yeah. engineer <laughs> slash, producer engineer slash, slash producer slash... 
the recording studio owner if you need you know businessman all that business entrepreneur man. entrepreneur man. and, and bully ways man and bully you ways know. like we we could, we could go and say Pops. all the shit that you do bro but i don't think we'd be able to touch it all on one on one episode but uh entrepreneur uh the host with the most hype man uh <laughs> motherfucking party animal party the animal the, 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 turn the, up the, king the real up all night show <laughs> Man, you name it. Most energetic. All that, bro. All I can all that, say man. is we work, man. We work, working. man. That's my party, man. Work. That's my people, though. Dope, it ain't coming soon. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> y'all got us back there? Yeah. All right, just making sure. Yeah, yeah, right. Just making sure y'all got us back there. Mm-hmm. All right, you know what I'm saying? We high and shit, so we be talking all the time. It don't matter. You know what I mean? Like I said, this is the motherfucking no invite, bro. No Chances invite. Chances are we not fucking going to be exactly what you expect. You know what I mean? But that's good, though. Right? Chances are I might be with your bitch. <laughs> Fast <laughs> chances, <laughs> chances. So how's everybody doing today, man? Fucking awesome, man. Just chilling, just chilling, you know. Just okay, okay. Day. Y'all, y'all seen? Know. A, you know, there's been a lot of shit going on lately in music. A lot of shit on the news. Uh, me and my homie already been talking about it, so I just want to go ahead and ju- dive into it. You know, what fuck I mean? we got flex. This, yeah, fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck, 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 flex. Want to talk fuck, about fuck, pop? Flex. What hey, the yeah, fuck no is wrong with dude? Though? Flex. Hey, hey, it's like man, grown man talking about some fucking. Bullshit, bro. Yeah. It's like, bro, why are you even bringing that shit up, my nigga? Twenty years later. 20, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole thing. That's what we're talking about. It's like whether the story is true or not. Who gives a shit? Because what's done is done. Music, what's man. done is done. Anybody could spin anything any way they want to and make it sound bad if they want to. If you weren't really there, you don't know exactly what it was. But the thing, like you said, it's like, man, how long has it been already? And you still on that shit? It's like now that now that he knows that's like them snitches that come out after they snitch on the whole mob and now everybody in the mob's dead or in prison they ain't got no power no more and then they come out and they're acting like they tough and shit. Man, you know what that's, that's what that reminded me of. Too, a movie with you. about them. After you know nobody hard, gonna, now gonna, gonna say nothing to you. I mean, people Stupid might talk about thug. you, but they ain't gonna do nothing to you. You know what I mean? They're yeah. actually oh, yeah. directly. So you know whatever. But you know, then again, you don't know neither. That's what you call janky business, man. Janky business. How do you feel about that? Yeah. Janky, janky I think he's just he's just trying to make a name for himself again. I think so, too. I think he's falling off. Yeah, 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 he's trying to get through it. Because don't nobody... He said some shit like four or five years ago in New York. And New York was going to get on this line The Pac movie is going to come out in a month. Come on, man. Trying to get some hype probably off that. When he's trying to say Pac ain't no legend, whatever happened, don't none of that... Take nothing from the music though. Whatever's coming out the speakers ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Whenever Pac came out the speakers, it was fire. It was some. But even then, that, even then, you can't. And there's nothing really he could say that could tarnish uh, Pac's legacy. The fact that he's That's trying to saying. is what makes it ridiculous. That's you what feel makes me? It I'm like, man, man, I'm, I'm a fan of both of them. West yeah. Coast, East Coast. I, I, love, I love all that shit. I'm like, I love Big. Same thing with Big. Shit. I feel you the know know same way if somebody was talking about Big though to keep it 100 with you because it's like, it's like, why you speaking on a dead man for a period? You feel me? Period. Like you know what I mean Ooh, because you know and everybody like they, they can't even clap back though they, you exactly know, you, you talking on them they can't clap back that's so why, why you going why you going to wait till they dead now to, to start talking shit you exactly know exactly yeah. that's yeah. why yeah. I was like yeah. that yeah. to me that's the phoniest part of the whole shit yeah. regardless whether whether his story is accurate or it's spun how he want to say it man keep dude's name out your mouth you know what I mean? real. keep dude's name out your mouth if you need some headlines go do some other controversial shit man you know what I mean go Start talk about working, somebody that's man. alive that's gonna actually give you something you know what I mean to, to reach for and, and you know the cool part about it us as people uh, 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 color we already got it. We, we got it bad why come negative now on, on exactly. somebody you know what I'm saying that's, that's why you throwing shit. shade on you another know on, you know what I mean another. I'm not on, 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 on one of your oh, brothers. Brother, brother, you know brother, exactly. we, we got enough shade like, as it is, though. You feel me? For real. We're trying to do this shit. Man, because you know motherfuckers is crazy, it's, bro. It's, That's it's, all that hype now, man. Everybody got to be sensational and do some stupid shit for people to pay attention to. Yeah, and shit. That, 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 that's truly what it is, though. Yeah. Is, niggas man. crying for attention. A yeah. nigga trolling, man. Yeah. Trying to keep his so it's official then. No invite podcast says what? Fuck Flex. I say fuck Flex. Fuck Bastard Flex. Shut the fuck up. Fuck Flex. Fuck Flex for that bullshit. You're acting like a bitch. You know what I mean? Real hey, shit. what about that Mike Epps uh, little uh, parody, though? Y'all see that shit? <laughs> Bro, Mike Epps, the oh, fucking fool. Uh, hey, you know what? I was steamed. I was steamed when I heard the shit he was talking, right? I but after I seen that, I kind of just made me like, you know what? I'm cool. You know, somebody <laughs> somebody got his ass and it made it look <laughs> funny. In his, you yeah. know what I mean? That nigga like, crying yeah. and shit. You fucking lie. Yeah. Like, bro, what the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> my beard ain't con- <laughs> My beard ain't flexing. <laughs> I was like, yo, this Shout out Mike crazy. Epps, man. Mike the funniest nigga in the world. 
world. I man. say 21 years ago. What do you say? Hey, like? Bach would have whooped my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Epps cool though. You know, Mike Epps was out here a couple. Yeah. It was that he last was. week. Yeah, last week, and he did a he did a special did show like for the show. Uh, yeah, he shows. did an extra show and donated it to the uh, what was that the uh, Jack and nephew? You know? They passed uh, away. Yeah, his yeah. 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 brother, yeah. little brother, right? Rest in peace, bro. All his little brother just went to the Marines. Yeah, let's be honest. You know, you know what I'm saying. To go to the See, it's right. big things. It's, it's big things happening out here in Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, man. most definitely. Yeah. We're talking about yeah. it real shit. Too. I want to get your take on. People something. don't talk about that real shit that come out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You That's know basically what we do on this negative, show. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This show is right here. Is our Fuck platform to, to flip shit, it back you know on them, bro. Especially like like the past episodes we had, we've been talked about that right, and I really wanted to get touch a little bit on that with y'all. What do you guys feel about the whole? They're trying to take the budget from the California theater now, and they're trying to chop it not for this year, but next year. They're trying to, uh, you know, chop funding for it to keep it running, basically. So basically, that the car show downtown, all the stuff that they did to get the whole area popping, that's you know, weak. for them. That shit weak. That's weak. That's, that's, that's weak. Fuck, that's weak. They just had Cedric the Entertainer. They that's just weak. had Mike Epps. They, 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 they mad because they, they, they thought the bad lane shit was going to be Lopez. there, but that George ain't what make money out here though. They, they, yeah. That's what they're they trying to turn it into. They, they, you know, they're not they, trying to turn it into nothing. They're trying to cut the budget. So they're not going to be able to do it no more. So they can't. No more car shows. They just no more. There's no more culture down there. It's like y'all been to the cash. A dead theater, they ain't going to do shit. That's exactly what everybody was saying. How they, gonna, how they gonna build up a downtown and then break it back down three years later? And that shit making it pop. Yeah. Come on, that shit making that, it pop. That shit though, don't man. make no sense. It don't make. And no it's sense. all been it's all been legit uh, legit stuff. You it know what I'm saying? No, problem. no problems. It's it's good for the, it's a good it's look good for, for the culture. I have for people to come down there because that they built that whole square down there to entertain things like that. It's dope. You know, that's just when we was growing up out in. there, that yeah. shit was straight. Trucks. It's starting to actually get yeah. popping now. Now it's at the height of it. I feel like it's bullshit. You know now you guys they, got budget they, problems. You know why? I hate it. They seen too much color. Yeah, yeah. and that's too much unity. Too, too much, much, much unity. That scares them. Yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. having fun, man. They don't like that shit. It ain't been no problems. They hate their life. They hate their wife. Shout out Seven Boutique, man. Too man down there, man. Straight the fuck up. Hey, that's what that, but that's what Pittsburgh was built on, man. I I came out here when I was like nine years old. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't know what a Filipino was. To tell you the truth, I came from Frisco. You feel me? Yeah. I, everybody Asian was a Chinese to me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That's how I feel when I came out here. You got Mexicans. You got Filipinos. You got Italians. Mm-hmm. You got Samoans. Fucking you got everything. Romanians. You know what I'm everything. Saying? We got all. Yeah, 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 you know, Pittsburgh middle, is middle Eastern. I ain't gonna say that. You know, it's, it's, it's culture, though. You know, it's heavy culture, culture bro. From all types, That's what it is, though. Itty bitty city by the water. like right now. You see the panel right here. We we culture. You know what I'm saying? For real. But we all here. We all here for one cause. You know, it's 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 no invitation. No invite you know, podcast, yeah. but so so basically that's what's going on. In case you guys didn't know, I think it's bullshit. You feel me? Yeah. Um, you hey, know, what's y'all thoughts on the fucking playoffs, though, B? Like, playoffs? man, honestly, bro. We already know who. We, we already what know. The fuck, I feel what like, what the fuck? I feel like it's set up for fucking LeBron to just be, get a free ride to the championships because they ain't got no so, fucking so competition. Like this gonna be it's the same really, thing it was last year. Yeah, it's all it is. It's it's one of those things that I be looking at it like like when it was the Lakers and the Celtics and shit where it's just constantly. When they, when, they, when, they, when they found out it was dynasties, yeah, you know dynasties, and they're just and going they can at make it now. money off that yeah, shit because you caught a trip, man. It. What hype. they made off that shit? Video games, all that type of toys, shit. Toys, that shit made money. Shirts. Yeah, it's commercial. Yeah, that shit dope. It's, it's all, all right. about money. That shit. Dope. Uh, that's how I feel about the NFL now. I feel like we got cheated out of a couple of key games, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people whose teams that almost made it feel the same way. You feel me? Why you think them players? Why you think them players push for the union and do that shit, bro? Yeah, we get mad, but they just fighting for their life, though. You feel me? That's the hell though. Real you know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers don't care. That all they use is a number and the dollars in them. Yeah, for real. real shit. Straight up. No one by podcast. T1. <laughs> I get a little bit of money, in the building. You know, don't let me get into Just it. Not like me. We could go on and on. We got, we we got a lot all of kinds say. of shit. We but look, I wanted to also touch on some shit though because this is some shit we've been talking about and I always like to kick some shit here that we would be saying anyways. You feel me? So that the, everybody listening out there could kind of get an idea of our thought process. You feel me? They'll never be able to truly figure us out because it's yeah. only a little part. But to give them that little insight on how we see certain things, you feel me? Bring them into our world in a sense. Okay. So we've been talking lately about this whole thing with um, with musicians and uh, aspiring musicians and, and the quality <coughs> of your music. And your presentation and, and overall. So I'm gonna ask each one digi- individually. I'm gonna go down the line and I'm gonna ask you a little bit about it, and then I'm gonna get your opinion on it and your opinion and so forth. Because I would like to know how do you feel? What do you feel about like 
how important is presentation to you when you're putting out something, whether it's a single, a video, anything that you, you're doing as an artist, entertainer, making t-shirts, how, how important is uh, uh, the presentation to you, Wiz? It is everything. I mean, honestly, when they look at your product, they want to fucking want to buy it. You know what I mean? If they look at it and they feel like you're not investing in yourself, they're going to be like, well, why the fuck should I buy the fucking dollar? You know what I mean? Why should I spend my dollar on on something that you didn't want to spend no money on? You know what I mean? It's kind of crazy. But at the same time, you know what I mean? I understand that, you know, not everybody can invest like that. So my advice to you is... You better hype that shit to fuck up, man. Go fucking crazy. Make fucking fans. I mean, yeah. honestly, it's going to take a lot more than just that fucking little presentation. You're going to have to do hella other shit yeah. around it. But, but yeah, it starts presentation with the music, is don't you key, think? though. Because don't you think? Like, cause it, it, that, that's what they're going to spend their money on. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's what they want to see. Like Because yeah. to me, I tell people where the start starts with the music. You know, you got to have your music right and everything. If you want to do this, go into shows and perform and you're aspiring yeah. to be an artist, it all starts with the music. You didn't have a strong yeah. question with me sitting down right yeah. here. I well, I'm going to get to you. That's that. why I saved you for last. I started with Wiz because uh, you know, he's an engineer. You know, he yeah, does shit. recording. He's been doing this, making beats, producer, the whole thing. So I'm going to get yeah. to you. You know, That's yeah. why I wanted to go down the line. Okay. Yeah. But you, but I was get, I, I wanted to get your perspective too because you're actually somebody out there that's like, to me, you're like one of the kings of promotion, bro. Like, you know, the... Um, the way you, the way you're able to present products, and of course, like you said, you can't just be like, "Oh, this is a bottle of dirt right here." You know what I mean? You gotta, <laughs> it got to be a nice yeah. product, and when you, you vouch like, for it, bro, put your finger in <laughs> it, yeah, you yeah. can put a seed in it. Yeah. This shit will grow. <laughs> it will blossom. <laughs> I'm just telling you, man. Yeah, it's exactly. not no fake shit. Hey, but you know what? You can yeah. see that's the we come from yeah. the era though. We yeah. could sell anybody anything. Yeah, right though, too. It's all that but I mean, piece. it all starts with the product though. If you like the product, you go endorse it. You're gonna say, "Hey, yo, yeah, this is yeah. what it is," mm. and you're gonna make it look good. And that's what I be telling people. You know what I mean? It's like you. You are definitely one of those guys that could go out there and make that shit happen. You could get right. anything lit mm. if you wanted to. You feel me? So uh, it, everybody's perspective here is interesting, and it's from different uh, aspects of the mm. game. Because not only are you all that, you're also an artist. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You've been rapping, been yeah. making music and shit like that. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to you, Jizzle. What's up, man? How you feel about the presentation and the overall, the the, the, the sound of, your, of, of music in general? How important is that to you? It's extremely important, like. Because every time you drop something, it's like it's a first impression of somebody every time you drop something. So I'm trying to make sure. Trying to get somebody new. Yeah, get somebody new every time. You feel True. me? Like everything a chess move with me, man. Make sure my <laughs> shit mix, mastered. That's what's Make sure my shit sound crispy as fuck. I'm going to listen to it. Trail. For days, all day, all night. Nigga, and every your, little you know, kink. your covers, it everything. Might make sure my cover and shit cool. You know, email the graphic man back and forth. I don't want that. I want this. You know, like. To a T, I'm it's very that, strict on yeah, everything. I like, mean, but it's like, everything's important. Yeah, because like, it's just like, be like you, you got to be like that though, because like how he said, you, people are trying to buy this. It's a it's product. Dope. It's a product. They trying to buy this from you. <laughs> and if you baby, give your music man, away, that's cool too. I would recommend if you're gonna just music and give it away and stuff. That's cool too. I I, I could dig that. You know what I mean? I'm, I mean, you know, that's however. You know, I'm not here to tell nobody how to do their shit. It's but if you're talking about people that want to come buy your shit and you're talking about taking it seriously to that next level, yeah. that's just like the basics. You that's feel the me? Basics. That's the you gotta have a nice product. If I'm selling weed, I want to try to have the best weed I can for that's sale. Weed. If I'm selling music, I'm trying to have it overall the best that's I can. Rude. And you know, weed just doesn't just grow. Okay, there it goes. It's smokable. Nah, you gotta to take care of that shit. Oh, to get it to that shit. You gotta love that shit. You gotta try it. You gotta take it to the to motherfucker. See with that. Me, with me, and the reason why I asked that question is because when I look at people's stuff, you know what I mean? I'm not hating. I'm just a observant person. And I see that, and I'm like, to me, that's not, that doesn't make me wanna. Take it to that next level to buy and follow because yeah. it's like I don't feel like he's taking himself seriously. Exactly. And I, like I like I said, it's not to pop shots at nobody, bro, because we've all been there, we've all done our own That's graphics, real, we've it's... all put out rough mixes and shit like that. But a lot of times people don't feel like they're getting the recognition they deserve, and they gotta True. remember it's your product, man. Always go back to your product. What I think you I think it's once you get to a certain age, you get to you get to being like, man, fuck this shit, it's business now. You yeah, know it saying? is. At first, at first you just be like, man, this is this shit a hobby. You know what I'm saying? This. Nigga, I, if I blow on it, I blow on it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But we, me and my niggas, we finna be riding to this yeah. shit. And then the bitches gonna be riding to this the shit. Life is you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And all that shit. You know what I'm saying? There's some of your niggas that they, they take it seriously, though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Got to. I'm not gonna hate on it, but it, a lot of motherfuckers is just like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my, 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 my hood rides to this shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is, though. Yeah. But 
It all depends you know? on where the artist is going, I yeah. feel like, because everybody's different. What's to me, goal? you know, what's your goal? Yeah. yeah, if you just wanted, like you said, if you just want to put I out. I mean, everybody go the same thing, though. You know yeah, it is true. We all doing it for a reason. We all do it for that, though. Yeah, most definitely. You can't hate on that, though. You know but I mean, saying? some people, like you said, they, that's just what they're doing it for. It's, they're not necessarily yeah, trying to go, shit, go put out CDs or put out singles. Yeah. They're just recording right around to it. That's cool. I mean, I get that. You know what I mean? That's eventually, you know what I mean? Maybe they might want to go keep going. Maybe not. You know, who knows? Yeah. But I know, like, for me and my personal experiences as putting out music that I've people have been a lot more receptive to, to the music right out the gate just based off of certain things like the sound. And they turn on, okay... Okay, it sounds yeah. good. You know what I mean? The quality. It's crispy. Or they see the yeah. they see the album cover and they're like, Oh, that looks yeah. good. You know, I like that. Yeah, that that's that. funny. We we out here promoting a Royal C D and it, yeah. it's mm-hmm. like you 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 he was giving to him a certain way and I start getting into it a certain way. I'm just saying, Can I give you a free C D? Yeah, take it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But not you know what I'm saying, him just hand it to him like, Look, this is my C D. It's it's like, you know what I'm saying? And I start thinking, like, it's all marketing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta start yeah. getting business. That's your business card, you know though. When you out there in the and world, that's what it is. It's how you approach them. They don't want you approaching them a certain way. Yeah, you, gotta, you know what I'm saying. But you gotta remember, you gotta finesse that. Yeah, you, you gotta, know, you gotta, you gotta yeah, remember. It's, it's still, a, it's still a business. No matter what you do, it's still a business. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. And and you still trying to make it, just like the next person trying to make it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So. I mean, you gotta give them something to remember, man. Yeah. yeah, and that's what it is. It's making you gotta that give them their money worth, even yeah. if it's a dollar they spend yeah. with you. You know, it's, it's a dollar's a dollar. You know what I mean? Give them, yeah. give them that dollar. You, you know, it's like your dollar you spend. That dollar gotta be worth it. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's what it is. It's my, it's, it's my dollar worth buying this CD. It's yeah. my five dollars worth buying this CD. Yeah. That's how you know Motown know came up. That's how they started. That's how it is. You gotta be Motown. You gotta give them their money worth, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? And it'll come back to you because you you never know who's who's gonna hit you back based on that, like. You said you trying to like Jizzle said you trying to win somebody new first every day real. first impression every, every day first is you're meeting new people so what are they looking at when they first see you you know there's yeah. a there's millions of people my time. just doing the same shit yeah. there's millions of people doing that and then there's millions of people that are actually investing in there there's like any other business you got to put a little something into it to get something back. Yeah. You know, and they start, and when you're starting off in music, most people don't remember that you're gonna put a lot into it and not see nothing back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that's that's that separates the people that are hobbyists and it separates the people that are serious. And a lot of times, more than not, it separates the people that make it and the people that don't make it because it's real. You know, it's, it's all about what you want. Yeah. You know, we wanted, we, we used to want certain things when we were younger. We went out and we did what we had to do and we went and got them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There ain't no different as you get older. You know what I'm saying? You got you want something, you got to go get it. It's just how you. That's go real. Get it. Yeah. Hustle and grind, yeah. hustle and grind. Yeah. 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 Just like you gonna get up for that fuck, nine fuck to five. Fuck bastard flex, by the way, my bad. Fuck, <laughs> fuck uh, bastard uh, flex. Fuck, fuck, fuck flex. flex. That's fuck flex, not funk no more. <sighs> Man, fuck no flex. in my uh, podcast, bro. I'm lit right now. Took a little dab before I came in. I'm still kind of a featherweight when it comes to that shit. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm uh. adjusting though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Motherfucker, try to you know. Yet. You know, that's I, why they call it a dab. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you only supposed to dab it. <laughs> Motherfuckers try to smoke it. Nah, you supposed to dab it. Just take a dab and do it. Alright, y'all know what it is, man. The Dabba D. You heard that shit right there. It's the Knowing by Podcast. Yeah. Black Diamond Studios. Black yo. Diamond Studios. Pull, 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 pull up to the function. Got the crowd lit. My killers move in silence, but you know we got the loud lit. You know I get down with. Never on no clown shit. Five in the waist, but a booty nice and round thick. On my boulevard tip. I was on the yard with. The killers and them dealers like casino. Pull your car quick. Grew up to be heartless. Make your man a target. Tick your tie bomb. Why the fuck they get me started? Uh. Real man run everything beside his Come mouth on. Thought he was a gladiator till they let them lines out Show you what these rhymes about You know I be riding around like Kane did in Menace When he brought them new ties out mm. you, you, you know I be really on my high shit Skeeting ass for the cash on my crime shit Them suckers on that you know dropping dime shit Baby say I'm rude but she like it 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 like it yeah. Give me five hey. feet while I like this mm. she, could, she could be a dime and I won't change, won't change. Cause bitch I'm on my grind like some cocaine, like some cocaine. Like Bitch I'm about to shine like a gold chain We building up our brand, they some motherfucking no names Roll things, now you fucking with the cone gang It's some cocaine, game. heat your body when the foe bang She put it to her nose like a nose ring Pussy stay wet and I'm sliding like the soul train Deep up in these streets and I love that Ain't no love back, ain't the 40 to your mustache 
survival of the fittest, get your hustle up. Get your hustle up. Fuck an easy win, run them numbers I up. Mm. You, you, you know I be really on my high shit. On my high shit. Ski mask for the cash on my crime on shit. My crime them shit. suckers on that, you know dropping dime Fuck shit. Rats. Baby, baby say I'm rude, but she like it. Baby say I'm rude, but she like it. Like it. Baby say I'm rude, but she like it. Baby say I'm rude, but she like it. She like it. Give me five feet while I like this. Yo, we live. We always live. Huh? Always live. Always oh, lit, thanks, man. You shit. know, no invite podcast. That you know, dude, be easy. Handy. You know what I'm saying? However you want to say it. Yeah. We up here with who other than you know, Bully Wiz. This I is. Okay, man. Who else we got on this panel, man? Man, it's, it's your boy T1. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. Mr. Smooth Operator right there. Man, Man, it's your boy Royal, man. P-Boy. All day. You know what I mean? We trying to make it happy, man. We out here spokesman. RDMR, though. RDMR. Really the most records, man. I I coined myself on being real. You should try it. We only just speaking to the mic. Okay. Yeah. Okay, speaking to the mic, man. Speaking to your mic. It's it's all good, though, okay? Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, this is a podcast, not shoutcast, brother. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to talk to Okay. No, no, but you know what? We like that enthusiasm, so let you know, Mr. P-Boy, let him know. Let the whole P and the rest of the world, 925, know what you got rocking. Man, you want to get buzzing in the P. I'm going to tell you like that. You feel me? What like, you got buzzing in the P? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, That's yeah, what we want to hear. I'm doing this, uh, this Street Before Industry. I got that album uh, coming. I got two singles. Well, three, actually. You feel me? From it that I'm pushing as a little EP. A little taste because, you know, I'm giving them away. A little appetizer, you feel me? Huh? Yeah, got to give and, them and something. What else you got coming? That ain't it, though. You, you know what I mean? You, 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 I know that ain't it, man. You, you just, really oh, the yeah, most, you man. Plan. You stay working. Oh, man, you I got to play with it right too, man. Oh, that Royal Beginnings. You feel me? That's Play what I'm with doing with T1, man. You feel me? But the name is, it, we, we talked about the name, but it's, it's undecided, but we got the music. You feel what I mean? So the product is there already. I'm just trying to get the title. Okay. Yeah, we got the, 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 okay. yeah, we got, we got the work. Okay, okay, T, man. I know you know you you, you the man behind the scenes and man behind the shades, bro. Let them know, man. Man. Let, let them know, man. That you, I'm trying to stay the nigga behind the shades. Okay, okay. Behind the shade, though, you, 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 you like to shine, but in the dark, though. Yeah, that's, that's, that, <laughs> that's what it is. I'm just trying to provide opportunities, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of I got an ear for this shit This shit is in my blood This music You know what I'm How saying How long you been doing music for bro I've been doing music Ever since You I can't even remember I can't remember I was, <laughs> I'm, I'm back to I'm back to radios With, with two Ninja cassettes Ninja Turtles With two cassettes on them And I'm, I got I got motherfucking New edition in this one And a blank tape in this one And I'm recording myself Singing this shit Okay you know what I'm Ghetto yeah, rig karaoke with a, with, with a set of headphones Split in half yeah. <laughs> With those wires man. hanging out yeah, yeah You know And then I, I graduated To the full track You know what I'm saying Take a set And a, and a couple Casio keyboards Then I just graduated After that When I was about 20 About 23 you know what I'm saying? So what about now when you making your beats? I know you uh you know let 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 these cats know where could we go record some quality recordings, man. I'm I mean, I'm right trying here, to record an album. Right what what studio could I go right to? Right here where we at. What, what's the Dime, name of that? Black is it Diamond is it called Studios. right okay, Black Diamond. Black that's Diamond the name. Studio. Yeah, come check it out. Black Diamond you, you, Studio. You, you can catch me on uh, Black Diamond you, you Visuals. Catch, it's, it's Black Diamond Visuals. We do we do more than just mm. Oh just damn, it ain't recording. just the studio. Okay, yeah, okay. We got visuals, we got photography, we got videography, we got, we'll print your t-shirts up, man, we got, you know what I'm saying, we'll print your promos up for your show, you need a hundred real quick for that weekend show, come see me. You know so not only do we got T printing up shirts, I know Mr. Wiz, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at yeah, everybody right. entrepreneur. God, right hold on, bro. Right. Right. If I'm not mistaken, don't you fuck around with print up shirts and shit like that too? Uh, Wiz nah, active. but I fuck with all the companies that do. Okay, okay. Oh, he just had you know, the know, the plug. Yeah, too. Yeah. 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 I know they don't care. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. So 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 what so so what besides the music 
do you got going on right now? Man, or or, or, or is mean, it just all about the the music, the promotion, the push right now? <laughs> well, shit, I got I'm, I'm in a little bit of everything. And you, you got know? your hand in uh, everything yeah, right now, bro, bro. You know what I mean? I gotta get it, gotta get it every way I can. And man, I do hosting, I do rap shows, I fuck your bitch, I fucking rap, I I, fuck I even fucking you know do a nine to five <laughs> shit, <laughs> work in the healthcare field, man. I, I'm I'm everywhere. Come bro. to that. Anything I feel that, that bro. creates revenue, you feel me? I'm exactly, in, a real go get it, man. You real heard shit. it first, man. Real if shit. your bitch ain't with me, she probably with Bully Wiz, Straight man. The so, fuck up. Can I have my bitch back. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, look, I yeah. took Blaze bitch, but you know, out of courtesy for my nigga, I had to give her back. You man. know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't want her because she liked the Niners, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> oh, fuck. I was like, you Niners, man. Cavs are you real gold diggers. Cavs are like, man. Like, <laughs> <"Cavs are laughs> like, <laughs> if you stand up, they're not rocking you. It's all good. We don't lay down, they man. The we stand up. And the baddest. You feel me? Yeah. But Cavs. you know, this the No Invite podcast. You know, we out here Niners. with no invite. You feel me? No Invite. So, we just need to know, you know, before we sign out, man. Be Mr. P-Boy Royal. Yeah, what, what was, was that next project we got? man. I want to give y'all that cover right there. Since Street we was talking about industry. quality work, you feel me? Invest in your money. Invest. You gotta do that. That's what it takes. Invest in yourself, man. Man, can, is, is, is that your money a CD, in it, bro? You, Where can we get you that? You gonna at? make it happen if you put your money in it. You gonna make it happen because you gotta get that back. Where can we get that up. CD at? Oh, y'all uh, can get that at Underdog, man. Y'all can get that on CD, baby. You feel me? The single street before industry. You, uh, Go cop that thing, man. man. Flames. Hater appreciation. Excuse me. This is from this is a single off the album Street Before Industry. Album coming album, album be dropping any day now. We got any, day, any they, day. They they don't know it might be today any or day. tomorrow. We, we trying to surprise you with it. You know okay. what I'm saying? We just gonna put it up. Just just stay looking. You know just, what I'm saying? Just, just stay alert. Get on, you know what get, on get on Instagram <laughs> Royal R D M R. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You stay looking for the audio and the visual. Black right? Diamond it's Studios coming. 925. Get on all that. You right now we focus we'll, we'll on these you shows. Know it's gonna drop any day. Yeah, you gonna get the music. We focus. We doing shows right now. You feel me? Just getting the buzz, getting it going. You know what I mean? Investing the money into the clubs, all of that. You feel me? So you gotta Invest do it. Invest the money in yourself first and foremost. You, you know to. what I'm saying? Otherwise, you everything just gonna fall apart. Dog, fucking with my boy, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, come something for the one. ladies, man. This May thirteenth for the ladies. And hey, when Day, is that on, though? Will? Saturday, man. The you gonna perform May or what? 13th, the average performances. The lovely Sherelle Terry, you feel me? She gonna be on the stage doing her thing. Okay. A lot of cats, man. There? Ski PZ team. Solo, what's up? Ski team, what's Shout happening? Out. They in the Philippines Ski fucking team. with it. They gonna okay. catch a flight though. Yeah. You know. But yeah, everybody in that thing, man. Yes, Highway Four, Highway Four, yeah. man, Highway all my Fo people. Go. Man, shout out to all the artists, man, from the Jalo, P, the Nine Two Five, and the whole Bay that's coming out to rock. Not just this show, but any, any show. show though. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? If y'all want to come to the end, no shit, invite, man. you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna invite y'all, but y'all can pull up. Y'all welcome to pull up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You gonna be in the presence of some fly fellows. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you know that's just how we rock. Let's have a bro. good time, man. Come on, man. Let's 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 network, man. That's what we that's what we here for, man. Let's network. Let's get this get the shit people done. what they want. Let's get a bay. With, let's, let's let's just do this shit. Let's do the bay right. That's get all on I'm out saying. there, like Jack yeah. said. It's you a whole me? thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta ain't just Atlanta. Atlanta is all them cities out there. You know what I'm saying? In the outskirts. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Exactly. That's why we got yep. the Bay Area coming Straight together. Up. Let's do this shit, man. Fifty cities coming together ain't nothing prettier. For real. All the hate ain't got to stop. You know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah. Hater appreciation. I appreciate we appreciate the haters, the haters you know but it do, it do got to come to an end at some yeah, point. That shit got to stop, though. You know For sure. Mean? All the hate and all the snitching. Fuck snitches. Fuck haters. You know what I'm saying? Stop but telling. I love y'all still, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so that, that's exactly what the fuck it is. It ain't helping nobody with no the No hating and no invite. You know no what I'm saying? Invite. No invite. You ain't getting no hate from none of these no niggas up here. You ain't invited. You ain't getting no you. invite to come on the show. <laughs> Just come fuck Let's with us. It. You know what I'm saying? They ain't we'll tell us. you this though: if you from the Bay, I automatically fuck with me you. anyway. It's real. It's up to you to it's fuck it up. Good though. cops though, but shit. It's real. Yep. I'm Not here. too many. I ain't Black met Diamond too many. <laughs> Look us up. We here, man. Quality music, quality, quality, everything, man. That's why we Black Diamond, man. You know what I'm saying? Diamond quality. Hit me up. Diamonds in the rough. Nine two five three three eight four five two six all day. Hit that number. Royal RDMR, man. You get all, all my social media. You feel me? You can just catch me at your girlfriend's house. Sorry. Look in her DMs. <laughs> Hello. <laughs>
and I'm the one who dropped uh, them off. Magic girl. Yeah. Right, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fucking Are we on? Yeah. All right, y'all know what it is, man. It's the No Invite Podcast. We're officially yeah, yeah. back online. Yep. We got half back on the motherfucking panel. We got Jizzle the Mayor. Be easy, yeah, that dude. I'm your boy, Blaze. This is the No Invite Podcast. Excuse me, man. You know that's what I'm saying? Good, I need a little, le- a little leg space to swing around and shit. But, um, <laughs> It's the No Invite Podcast. Make sure that you guys go follow us at on IG at no underscore invite underscore podcast. Follow us if you want to know how to be on the show. For further reference, by the time that you're hearing this, shit's going to be done already. So there's definitely not going to be no invite. But the next season around, if anybody want to be on the show, no you got something to say that's <laughs> uh, important. Still, no still, no still not going to be no invite. But at least they're going to know. Around. When you know we're recording, you better slide. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> next time around, it's going to be called no fucking invite. <laughs> right now, it's just no invite. But no. we're going to add the fucking into it. You know, no we're going to make sure we get that invite. that uh, the appropriate sponsorship for all that. Next time, we might be a little bit more high Looking tech. You never sponsors. know. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. We're we we definitely stepping up. Our, and everything, we, we, you know? we definitely leveling up every time we do this, though. So, you know, yeah. just, just so y'all know, you guys are witnessing something great being born right now. But we got everyone over here, and we definitely wanted to touch on some more shit. What's going on with Halfback there, man? Oh, no, man. I'm higher than Turtle Tits. <laughs> That's what's up, man. <laughs> Damn, I, I need to know what that's like, bro. I'm about to go find out. I need to find out what that shit like. <laughs> What's up, Jimmy, bro? Fuck. Yeah. yeah. What's, up with it? What's up with the mayor, though, man? Man, you know, champagne Everybody in campaign, here campaign lit. man. You already know. Every, y'all just, try to figure that out. Everybody in here lit. Everybody you know what I mean? I'm still, I'm still back Christmas on the turtle tits, lit. though. Like, I'm still, like, trying to digest that right now. So you Fucking might, wise. You might hear me laugh a little later. You fly over me? your head, it might go under you. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't get it, don't even bother, bro. It's not that. It's not for We got that dude, man. Be easy. What's up, man? Man, what's up with it, bro? Shit, man. We back, man. No Invite Podcast has been a little bit of uh, uh, technical difficulties trying to get this last uh, episode grinding, shot. Grinding, no. Hey, the struggle is real, but we getting we through it, going. man. We, we keeping, keeping it going. going man. Oh, it's it's just just funny style, real, man. man. Hey, this is the hoodiest fucking us, podcast for real, <laughs> Yeah, man. Shout out Black Diamond Studios, man, for hosting this thing not right here, man. Definitely got us in the building, Black Diamond Studios. Black and Fire, man. Oh, in this bitch we Freedom here, man. Mac. How y'all feel about the whole Pittsburgh thing And how it's popping though in general man Like, like start, I'm gonna start off with you BZ man How you feel about the whole vibe though man Like I asked everybody before but I didn't really get like a panel type answer Like what do you think The um, the uh, the pros and cons of what's going on right now For for us as far as the music goes Okay arts. I mean you know I, uh, What can we work on at, to, okay, to take let, it to the next let, level let, 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 you know, we all need improvement, you know, yeah, what I'm everybody, saying? Do every, it. every person as a human being, exactly. you know, but uh, as a as a community, you know, the pros is that, you know, certain uh, individual and compilation projects, you know, uh, you know, I, I think kind of sparked basically like some exposure for the city, you know, that yeah. people may not have known, you know, with the Pittsburgh, uh, Shit, no age, Pittsburgh versus everybody project. You know, I know, uh, uh, you know, cast like Mayor, uh, you know, Jizzle the Mayor, Blaze, Half, uh, yeah. Sinatra, Chewy Loke. Um, you know, I know Myself. a bunch of cats out there, you know, it, it, it's putting out individual solo projects too to keep, you know, the city buzzing. So I, I think, you know, the project sparked like a lot of cats, um, you know, to do like creative shit, to collaborate with cats. Yeah. So to me, that is a pro because I know with some cats that knew each other. But they didn't collaborate for whatever reason. Some chow- cats was funking with, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I see a lot of little petty shit got squashed. Then it still is, you know, some petty shit that's lingering on, you know what Definitely. I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, you know, and it's still, you know, a lot of hate, you know what it's I'm saying? But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you know, Rome, yeah, Rome one built in the day, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I could see, you know, that the Potential. hate, you know, did kind of you know, I guess Slow subside, you know, yeah. because at the, i say this was a perfect instance for me, you know, at the boutique, these two gentlemen was there blazing half, you know, they rocked the shit, Pittsburgh versus everybody right release party yeah. at the boutique, you know, I personally know, you know, not to say any specifics, but you know, I personally know some cats was up there, including myself, with some equipment, you know what I'm saying, just to, you know, you know, just in case you never knew what was going to actually happen, but, you know, nothing actually happened. The boys rolled up there, tried to, you know, jam it up. It still came. 
and you know nothing happened, no fights, no shooting. So for me, that was like an actual. It was big. Plus. It's kind of like that a milestone for the people. That, that was an accomplishment. That was definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely, bro. That was a success. That was that, a to me, that was success. a success yeah. for the city, bro. We, you know, R.I.P. to the uh, to the Brody Clay. You know, he got yeah. killed at a show. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, you always got to be aware of that shit. So to me, that actually that that was the most uh, thing that made me feel good because it was a bunch of cats from different hoods. You know, yeah, bully, midtown, yeah, <laughs> everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Every and like I said, yeah, so some niggas unity. came with the fuckery, but you know what I'm saying? Out of respect for everybody else in the city, nothing really went down. So, you know, I you know, I gained a lot of more respect for my city, you know, on, on that day, you we know. So now. Well, it just shows where everybody's mind <laughs> state is at now, bro. Now. Exactly, <laughs> brother. <laughs> yeah. Like We're five, five, five years ago, ten years oh, ago. Five, I should have got shit down. That shit would have been lit. Hey, Lydia again, Lydia again. <laughs> but I mean, but it's true though. Look, it goes back to it goes back to what you're saying though. Like we, what you said, we're growing. The we mind grow. state's different now, man. Everybody sees the potential in this music. Everybody got real good music out there. There's a lot of dope artists from our area, and everybody see the potential now. And it's like, yo, if you really want to be successful in what you're doing, man, there ain't no fu- there ain't no fucking money in beefing over petty shit, bro, mm-hmm. or hating on the next man because yeah, he's doing something you're not doing. That's or, that's or, that's, or, that's one thing I see about about the 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 movement right now from the P. You know with I mean? some jealousy I, I, or no, what? I, I just see the pro. I see the pro side of it. Me I don't too. see the cons. Oh, okay, okay, I don't. Okay. I don't see the cons of it unless you We've have that in your heart. Already. Unless you got time for that bullshit, I don't see no cons of it because it ain't done nothing but unity. It ain't addressing. Uh, it, yeah. It's doing nothing but unifying sections and people that did never fuck with each other, never would collab, never would have think. I Niggas would never see. Now. I would never see Mingo on a track with you and fucking Bully Wiz on a reggaeton track. Yeah, never. Yeah, never. It wouldn't happen. You know I mean? I'm just saying. It, it's it, it, it's kicking down doors for everybody. That's, that's it, it's, what's up. It's giving we doing people. Shows it's giving everybody yeah, an yeah, avenue to sure. lane. You know what I mean? Everybody's got their own lane. They driving in, but it's it's creating a big road for us all to smash on. You feel yeah, me? Exactly. Exactly. And it's just we we really as you feel me as native, just not as just artists. Just you feel me. As fucking residents, bro, and natives of the city, like we gotta yeah, take we gotta advantage of that lit. shit. Now, not everybody gonna like it, but shit, if you if you don't, everybody like your Jordans or your hat or the team you like. <laughs> exactly. So you know you gonna have I resistance. I definitely don't like your team. I definitely yeah, you don't know like what I'm your team at all. But you know we'll we'll convert you. <laughs> as, as I mean, as well. if we want to go back to that bullshit, though, what we'll do is we'll put the mics down and then we'll go back to the bullshit. Go you know what I mean? But bullshit. right, this 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 is the hype we on now. You feel me? This this the wave we on now. You feel me? And then even if you do all this, this is this is we, this dunk. is this is what we doing. This is this is this is life now. You feel me? This is what we love to do. This is what we like to do. This is what we wake up to breathe and wake up to inhale. You feel me? Like real shit. Yeah, real shit. Real shit. Real. We used to wake up and bleed the block, breathe the block. You know what I mean? Breathe Cream. the bullshit. No. Bleed, you know what I mean? All that all that Ryan bullshit. Stoke. We used to do that shit. We used to love that shit. We, we used to business live for that now. Shit. We, used to we business live for that shit. But this this is this is what we live and love. You know what I mean? This me. is. <laughs> it, I mean, it, ain't, it ain't what it used to be. It used to be the. I mean, we used to get together at functions and events like that and be like, "Oh, see which niggas we don't like. See uh-huh. which niggas we funkin' with. See which niggas we gonna have to say something to." Well, I don't be like that at shows no more. I don't get the tension and animosity feeling yeah. like I gotta clutch my hammer every time and I you walk know past. Why? Because you focusing on all no, the pros. You I know don't feel that. I don't yeah. feel that no more. And I everybody don't feel like else I gotta like worry about too. is this nigga gonna come behind me while I'm performing? I don't gotta. The, I don't feel that. For shit. the most part, nah. I feel like like I'm gonna say like the majority is everybody's on that same shit too though. The Definitely. majority is just, let's that, get out. Yeah, everybody yeah, that's like what you said. Like what you were saying. There is hating still though. Like we're talking about still hating. There's still gonna be some side busting shit. But for the most part, everybody need that. They business. Yeah. Keep going, we do. man. And, I mean, we, and you know that negative, working. that negative uh, hate. You feel me? It's always positive promotion. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Always. Always. No we need such that. Thing is bad publicity. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, so you just you just got to look at it that way. You feel me? So. And, uh, you know, like half was saying, I know a bunch of cats, nigga, that was from the low, that was only, man, this nigga from the West, or I don't fuck with bully niggas and shit like that. Now, you know what I'm saying? It's together. It's just we like a free for all. I'm fist. like, damn, this nigga from this, downtown did a song with a nigga from here, you know what I'm saying? But really, that's how it is. I'm from the P, y'all, y'all know how, really, we how, y'all know how, how, y'all know how small like that, it is, bro. but how big ain't it no, is within a small city, it, you know no, what I'm saying? It, 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 it's, nobody's in, in a risk of losing money by fucking with each other. Nobody's in risk of losing yeah. family by fucking with each other. Yeah. Nobody in risk of, you know what I mean? You ain't it's got nothing positive. to lose by, by networking no and that's collabing with motherfuckers. You ain't got shit to lose. You ain't got nothing to lose. Money is never. Exactly. It's like this. 
It's like this, like I was saying before, ain't no fucking money in that funky shit anyway. So if it ain't involving money, then what's the fucking point? You know what I mean? We out here trying to build and plant our flag for our city because we know that if we keep the city lit, it's going to keep us lit. You feel me? We we artists, we can go make it wherever. As artists too, bro. Yeah. Definitely. Automatically. if, if If you say you from Atlanta... Somebody is going to look at you. It's just like going to De La Salle. Oh, he went to De La Salle. They're going to give you a look. You know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Off time. Based off on so, time. Yeah, so like cats don't really recognize where we're from. Like, this the P, you know what I'm saying? If you say you play sports, niggas know, man, this nigga got to be dope or something like that. Yeah. If you say you're doing music, niggas is expecting yeah, you, you to come dope. with some shit. You yeah, feel yeah, me? They looking at cats that came before you, and it really is a lot of dope cats up here. It's just niggas can't be thinking that they dope. Or, you know what I'm saying? Everybody think, bro, I'm doper than him. Him and him, you don't need that. to be doper than me. Just be the best, best artist you could be. Of yourself. You feel me? Best because, of yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then if you really that dope, my nigga, he gonna tell me I'm that dope. You know what I'm saying? I don't it's really, like this, you know man. I don't really need. I to, seen a, I seen a post no the other H. day that said I don't want to be the dopest artist. I want to be marketable. Nigga, that's game. That sounds you know like what? me myself. Like, real that's shit, real game. shit. No, no, the nobody dopest, is the dopest. The dopest, dopest the rappers best. I know will never get the motherfucking time of day to get they shine. They will never get the they fucking get line as much like credit they as they deserve. They'll they never get the credit. They dope as fuck though. They raw. They got bars that chew a nigga up, but they ain't getting paid for it. Huh. You know what I mean? They ain't being heard. They ain't on the radio. They ain't selling units. You know what I mean? They ain't create no wave. They don't got no promo. They don't got no. Nothing. They got their shit, but they don't got it like uh, like on a on a big success level, like where they could, you know what I mean? And then they there are some that don't even the... want that that limelight. Some yeah. that are just like, I'm cool with my public, my yeah. publishing. Craft, you know yeah. what I mean? I, I'll write for niggas. I'll, I'll get paid on the back end. You know what I mean? I'll do that. You know what I mean? I don't even want to be out definitely. there. Most definitely, it's different it's all for different folks. It's, yeah. It all depends on you know what I mean. It's all like you know, some people. Man, I'm in it for the credit. fucking culture, B. Yeah, Make some sure. people don't give credit, culture, though, but, but let's keep it real, though. Been doing this Touching on free. what you're saying, like, most people don't give credit to the motherfuckers that are actually on that, that type of level. It's always, like you exactly. said, it's, 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 it's definitely a business. So Music the business. smartest, the smartest ones <laughs> usually know that, and even you could be the most lyrical. Business, you gotta love it though. Yeah, you gotta love it. Yeah. you gotta love gotta it. You gotta love it. what you do. You ain't gonna but, lie. But what I'm saying hey, is you that got, you could be any, any of that. Shit too. You can't. You can't. You can't have. You can't have step. And that's just yeah. with any field. If you want to be a football on. player, you can't that's be half stepping. You, you say you want to be an artist, be yeah. producer, you can't anything. Good about what right. you're doing. Nothing, bro. You can't half step in nothing, bro. Yeah. Whatever you want to call yourself. You feel me? You don't. You don't get it's that. It's where your dedication at. You don't get that feeling of success without. All right. So you, don't you know what I mean? We just lost feed. The, don't trip, y'all. Oh, it is what it, it is. It's the No Invite podcast. You know, it ain't pretty, but it you know it works. It ain't pretty, but it ain't shitty. You know what I mean? Cool. This the Knowing Vibe Podcast. We got cool. half Jizzle the Mayor. Be easy that dude. You know what it is, man. We just lost our visual feed, but it's all good. We're gonna, we was, still we was, here. We, we was almost ready to wrap that shit here. up anyway. So it's not like we was <laughs> doing the mo- we weren't doing the most. Yes, yeah, sir. But um, you know, it's still Knowing Vibe Podcast. Yeah. Doper than coming We could go. Soon. S- we could still go. <laughs> it's just like. Put it this way. Yeah. We could. Going I'm back to the minutes. thing. Going back, yeah, two or two and a half more minutes. We good. Yeah, we good. We good. Going back to what I was saying though, it's like, no matter what, we gonna keep it rolling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a good, it's a good vibe right now for the shit. You know, we were talking about the city and everything, how it's going. Oh, it's right. shit. definite. The it's definite. The the, the direction that the direction that Pittsburgh's going in right now is beautiful. It's dope. It's we just dope. we just need to, we just need to make sure that the, the you know the forefathers, you know what I mean, the founding fathers keep the torches lit for. Man, we need to channel us, that man. energy, bro. Like mm-hmm. it's it, it's a whole bunch of negative shit. That's energy, bro. The positive shit too. We just need to channel all. We the gotta positive We got to remember, shit. man. It's summertime coming up. High head intentions is coming. Coming up, so it's like murder you know rates I mean? go up in the summer. Just you know, but you know what though, the vibe well, we that we're gonna keep it, we keep the vibe right though. We'll keep the vibe how it's right. supposed to be though, because that's the thing that I, because I've been making music for a while. We've been making music for a while. Y'all already know half. You already know we've been doing this since like the two thousand. You know what I mean? Is when we actually been in booth recording on dat tapes, the whole crazy shit, right? Yes, yeah. So. We've seen now. the climate of, of Pittsburgh rap and the artistry and everything from then till now. And it's a definitely it's, a whole different vibe. Yeah. Everybody is definitely on the let's get our, our shit up and get our shit right shit. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like a lot of that has to do with what's going on with the, uh, the, the, the new artists as well as the artists that's been doing it actually 
being like like actually fucking with each other and communicating is like no hating you know that's like the whole little no age thing how it kicked off a bunch of controversy yeah. because people were feeling like i guess i don't know what they were feeling like but they were upset that they either they weren't included in the project or that it wasn't a official uh pittsburgh release or whatever what people fail to realize is that bro this city is as much his as it is mine as it everyone else if you're out exactly. here pushing music but so you could put your own shit out and whatever the case yeah, might be yeah. and do your own thing you don't gotta just because you're not included or involved in anything but whatever that's that was just the controversy involved but the whole thing with that compilation like i said that what it brought to it and brought a lot of people that maybe didn't make it to, to bring their lit. game up yeah. and the people that did that were on it that were buzzing that made it actually made the cut of the album they actually got to get the wave even more going in a sense you feel me because that was a big tool in a, in an already fucking you know bigger wave uh, you as you could say that was forming you know a tidal wave mm -hmm. but with the pittsburgh no A's, the pittsburgh versus everybody that release party i, I speak on these things the nine quarter awards i speak on them because they like key things that have shown yes. the potential of what it could be shown how people could come together and how we could all do our thing and be recognized for it and all that shit so and um and you know like they're like I look at them kind of like milestones you feel me as yeah. what we doing you know what I mean, and the whole vibe the whole shit the 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 nine two five this area has definitely got a lot of uh, credit that's due, you know and you know we got they got to give us our credit and the only way we're gonna do that is by continuing that vibe the positive vibe and and like I said from the gate good fucking music make your music Definitely. make your music good be the greatest make you can it, at it of quality you don't make need you, know you don't mean? need a million dollars exactly you don't need a million dollars to make something sound good bro hey and, you and don't you, need a million to sound like a million and i'm gonna tell you like this if you're post <laughs> Black Diamond studios you see where we are we're in a we in the building where they actually make recordings quality recording quality equipment shame, oh yeah 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 you already know no invite is not above no shameless plugs bro you know we do the Jeff shameless we don't do it. Over hey, but you know what though? It's real. Black Diamond Mixed Studios ABB. got a jig for you right now. And invest in yourself because I, I'm gonna tell you like this. If I see somebody that's a striving artist, aspiring artist, you might have dope music, but I'm a stickler for quality. I like I need presentation, it gotta sound good for me. On top of that, if I see you holding up hella weed and, and, and you stunting the bow bottles and loot, and then you don't put no money in your music, I'm not going to buy it. If it's downloaded, I'll listen to it. If it's, if it's free, I'll probably listen to it. But I'm not going to buy your music. It's not nothing personal. It's just the fact is that uh, if you want to be taken seriously, you got to take yourself seriously. Talk about hey, to me, it you is talk personal. about the niggas that be taking pictures with Louis belts and Ferragamo belts and shit, but be having the fucking the, the seven-year-old uh, do doodle link uh, exactly. uh, uh, art cover. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> a nigga got, a nigga got an album cover that looked like it's seven year old son drove for yeah, him basically no, the seven year old son could have he should have had his seven year old son see, look, for him That's it'd be, it'd be like that ask back with priorities man no. and you know what like I said everybody starts somewhere so I'm not expecting everybody but like I said if you want to be taken seriously it's not like we're not hating this ain't shade this is advice this advice the prior was given to us at one point or another in our careers and, and you don't have to take nobody's advice but just know that Presentation is everything. You don't have to have a million dollars to put out a good recording. You don't have to have a million dollars to put out a good uh, uh, artwork cover. But if you want people to, if you're if you're upset why your 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 album doesn't get the push that from the people that you want, if you're upset that you're not getting the wave that you feel like you you should have got for your shit, you have to understand that people are gonna support things that look like they were supported by the person that put them out. Hell yeah. So if I look at your shit and it don't look like it's all the way up to par, I might listen to it, but I'm not gonna buy it. To be honest with you, I'm not. I'm not gonna spend my money on it. I'm probably not gonna download Pro, it. You know what I mean? Presentation yeah, is can't. everything. It's everything because I, I, I'm a stickler, bro. Everything. I don't go. You know. You don't get that first uh, second chance at a first impression. There's a difference between bootleg bootleg movies yeah. and you watch it and then you watch it in the theater there's a difference you feel me and there's a big difference that's the first hand how it's supposed to be but look it's the No Invite Podcast unfortunately we're running out of time so with that you know what I'm saying I just want to say oh, the No Invite Podcast on Instagram No underscore invite underscore podcast D -d -d Download all the Slideshow podcasts at theslideshow.com.